Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monica and today in this video we will learn about what is Jira product discovery and how it works. What is Jira product discovery? Jira product discovery is a road mapping and prioritization tool which is specially built for the product teams. The goal of the Jira product discovery is to help you continuously understand and validate what to focus on and why. This is the official website of the Jira product discovery where you can get a little bit idea about how it works. So when we will come here in this section, you can see how the Jira product discovery works. First one is captured. You can capture the ideas and insights. So Jira product discovery is a home for all the ideas that you have in your mind. You can gather and organize your project opportunities, your user feedback and feature requests all in one place in the Jira product discovery. Second one is the prioritize. You can prioritize your ideas with the help of the flexible views that JPD provides. And it also provides loads of granular fields which will help you to compare your ideas against one another. Third is engage. You can engage with your stakeholders or maybe your other product team members with the help of the roadmaps. You can share the roadmaps with the stakeholders and other external product team members. They can help you to provide the feedback via comments, words or maybe with the help of reaction. The fourth one is the connect. You can connect your JPD with the Jira with the help of this delivery tab. With the help of this delivery tab, you can directly connect your JPD idea to deliver your work in Jira. Now we will check the pricing of the JPD. Go to the pricing tag here. And there are the three plans, free, standard and premium. The premium is in a wait list. So we will not discuss about the premium here in this video. We'll talk about the free and the standard. Free, uh, if you are using a free, then there is a limit. You will only have a three creator. But if you are using a standard, then the creators are unlimited. Contributor will be unlimited in free and the standard. The storage 2GB and 250 GB and the automation rules in the free you will get 200 rules run per month and in the standard you will get 500 rules runs per month. The Atlassian intelligence is not available right now in the free and the standard but it will be in the premium. Other rules like admin sites, release track, IP allow list are also not uh, available here in the free and the standard. When we will come here in the ideation, then these ideas and templates, idea import, insights and Chrome extensions are available for the free standard and the premium. The prioritization and road mapping features are here. The stakeholder features are here. So I will share this link in the description box of the video. You can go and check out the uh, feature that you will get in the free standard and the premium plans. Now let's go back to the Jira product discovery pro project. This is my Jira product discovery project, my discovery project. And here in the left bar, you can see I have the different, different views like impact assessment, impact versus effort, product timeline, and the delivery status. When you will go here, you can create your own view. There are the four types of views are here. You can create list, board, matrix, and the timeline. You can also create a new section to manage this particular sidebar and it will work you to make it more clear if you can create a section and manage your views like this. Uh, here I have created a one section roadmap and in the roadmap I have the product roadmap view. If you will use the uh, section here then it will be more clear and easy to understandable. You can drag and drop uh, the view and the section as well to make them uh, according to your own requirement. So you can do it like this. Uh, here in the right side of the screen, we have an option to create an idea. When you will go here, then you will get an option to create an idea. You can enter, let's suppose this is a test idea about the JPT video. Go and press the enter. Right now I have grouped by category. So it will be here in the down you can see this one but when I will click here and I will add the category here let's suppose I want to make here in the getting started with the Jira product discovery then this idea will be here test idea about the video when you will click uh, on this you will have overview comment insights delivery and status I will describe about these uh, five tabs later in the series of the Jira product discovery so that you can understand what's the meaning of overview, comment, insights, delivery and history inside this idea. 
so here uh, i can group by my view with the help of this field right now it's a uh, uh, group by on category because the category is a field here if you wanna hide the empty groups you can do it you can set your filter you can short by and here we have the fields right now in this view i have the 13 fields like summary goals comment insights impact and filters like this so here i have the 13 fields if i want to add more then i can simply click here add fields and i can add as suppose to creator so i can do something like that and if i want to remove it i can go and remove it from this view I can also hide uh, these fields in this view and I can make them visible. If you want to add them, then you can simply click here. Let's suppose I want to show them this confidence. I want to show them the design ready fields in the view. Then it will look like this. If you want to create your new fields, you can simply go and create your new field. You can give it a name and select the type of the fields, which type of fields you want to create. So this is how is your view in digital product discovery will look like there are the lot of fields are available you can group by and you can filter by so it's up to you you can create as many as view you want like this is a product timeline view this is uh, look like this this is a delivery status if you want to share any view uh, with the stakeholders which are not the part of your organization you can publish it you can simply go here, type the name, group or the email address and you can share it. You can read, read here like if you will publish the, this particular view, then you can share a link to the people outside your project and they don't need a Jira license or the uh, project access. And if you want to share within the organization or with your team members, you can simply go and share it. Maybe you can copy the link and you can share it, uh, whatever the a communication channel you are using maybe you can copy the link and share using slack teams whatever in the jira product discovery you can create the different different views and you can manage your ideas in a different view you can process them whatever the way you want so this is very cool and that's why the jira product discovery is very helpful for the product teams i will also describe the part of the project settings in my other videos of this series that's the overview of the Jira product discovery and if you understand what is JPD and how it works then please don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next video.